Hey guys, uh, welcome to your full moon reading for Leo. This is going to be uh, for the full moon that's occurring in Cancer on January 17th, 2022. We're going to take a look at what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect, what's surrounding you guys, um, what you guys need to work on. Um, so um, you could feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, feel free to switch to uh, roles if you want. If there's more than one energy showing up in the read. Um, also, this could be in anything, okay? So there's nothing specific. Um, so uh, keep in mind that this is just a general read. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to use a, a, also a, a Ruins Oracle deck. This is the first time I'm ever using it. So we'll see what happens. We'll pull some Oracle and then we'll get into the tarot. All right. What does uh, Leo need to know regarding this full moon that's occurring in Cancer on January 17th? Um, 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does uh, Leo need to know? What can Leo expect? What does Leo need to work on here? Okay, so we have the first quarter moon in Libra. Keep an open heart. So, so your heart chakra here might be blocked. Maybe you're trying to heal from that. You're trying to open that up. You're trying to heal from old wounds here. Speak your world into being. This is the throat chakra here. Okay, so this is uh, believe in your good luck. So that's the crown chakra right here. So this is you um, receiving messages from your guides, your angels from the universe, and sort of speaking the truth and opening yourself up, uh, opening your heart to whatever you receive. Um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for Leo regarding this full moon in Cancer? Fehu, possessions, won or earned, income, luck, abundance, financial strength in the present or near future. So um, your finances are getting better. Aguas, male fertility, gestation, internal growth, common virtues, common sense, simple strength, family, love, care, and then worth and home. So maybe at this time, you might be focusing on people that are the closest to you, okay? So, and while you're focusing on that, perhaps, you know, you want, uh, could be this energy of sort of like, you know, spreading healing messages around the people that are closest to you or something like that. Let's see. Some of you guys might be healers here, perhaps. What else do we have for Leo? Greed. You are too attached to things in excessive ways. Nothing come nothing good comes out of it. Okay, perhaps this is something that you need to work on. Someone close to you. Fearful, a learned behavior that can be unlearned. Also low vibrating feelings that create limitations for you in the future. You for you and future happiness. So I feel like Leo, I feel like you're in this energy of getting out of it. Okay. Uh, because I feel like you're sort of like healing and not focusing on the negatives, focusing on the fear. I just feel like you're just, um, you're just embracing, you're just embracing the change, you're embracing the challenges here, okay? So like I said, I feel like you're trying to become, I feel like you're coming into your own, okay? I feel like you're trusting your intuition here. And I feel like, you know, and I feel like you're speaking your truth uh, and opening yourself up to new things that comes, comes, uh, that comes towards you instead of resisting it. 
So let's see what else do we have for Leo here. What else do we have for Leo regarding this full moon in Cancer occurring on uh, January 17th, 2022? What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect? Uh, what does Leo need to work on? Now keep in mind, Leo, this could be someone else that you know that's going through this. So just apply this to your own unique situation. You got the Seven of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands. I really feel like you're in this energy of definitely reassessing yourself here. Yeah, reassessing everything that you're doing. You know, mind, body, soul, uh, your spirit here. Uh, I, I just feel like you're going through some uh, really big changes. And I feel like it's in due part with, you know, really opening yourself up um, to the messages that are coming through for you. What else do I have for um, Leo? Right, Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. You know, I feel like you guys might be healing from some sort of childhood wounds here. So I feel like you're creating sort of safety for yourself, okay? You're creating a lot of safety for yourself here. Safety that you never uh, had when perhaps you were a child, perhaps in prior relationships and friendships with family. So I do feel like also the root chakra is blocked also, okay? What else do we have here? You know, the greed thing could be in regard to not having that uh, uh, that, that safety, a sense of belonging here too. Uh, perhaps, you know, maybe growing up you had money issues. Maybe uh, 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 getting into your adult life, you also felt like you had money issues, even though it seems like with the possession, with Feihu, things are going pretty well regarding your money here, uh, present and in the future here. Um, You have the tower and the world. I really feel like you're focusing on sort of like healing this. Yeah, healing the past here, letting things go. Accepting, accepting these changes gracefully. Seven of Pentacles, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? That's Chariot, you see? This is looking pretty good. Um, I mean, I feel like you're really victorious. I feel like you're taking a direction here and just focusing on that. Uh, Knight of Wands. I mean, this Knight of Wands energy, this Page of Wands energy is the energy of really going for it, you know? So the Knight of Wands. Okay, Nine of Cups. Leo, you're really focused on your own happiness, your own freedom here. I feel like you're freeing yourself from your fears, basically. Yeah, because you're pursuing your happiness here, okay? Page of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like regarding your career and your work, I do feel like money is great. Okay, I do feel like the money is flowing in. I feel like you're working really hard. But at the same time, I do feel like there's some stuff in the past that you do need to clear out here. And I feel like you are trying to clear it out, especially with the Tower and the World card being here. Let's see. You have the Empress. Wow. You're definitely in this Empress status, or you're trying to get to this Empress status. I do feel like someone here does have... Um, um, issues, uh, parental issues, okay? Issues with a, a parent. Perhaps you never got along with a parent. Maybe the parent was never present or something like that. This is in regards to your safety here in a sense of belonging too. So we're talking about the root chakra again. I'm getting a lot of co red colors here. So this is telling me your root chakra is blocked. I'm, I'm getting a lot of orange here too, which is the sacral chakra. So this is your, uh, you know, your pleasure, emotional balance, your confidence, your creativity. I feel like a lot of it, I feel like, I feel like a lot of your, perhaps all your chakras are unblocking or they're balancing out, they're being cleaned out. Um, you could be going through this a period where, you know, you're really focusing on your spir spiritual hygiene here. 
which is really important, uh, which, which is really uh, an important part of your spiritual personal growth, um, your uh, spiritual path here. Uh, Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So we have, so you're coming up as a feminine here, um, Leo. So this is your energy right here with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra. Could be dealing with any of those energies, Cancer, Scorpio. You might have those um, uh, energies in your chart also. Tell me about this chariot. Five of Pentacles. It's like you're moving past, you know, these hurdles and these challenges that, challenges that you've been through in life. Really, I'm, I'm really feeling like financially. Because I'm, I'm feeling like someone here has struggled financially all their life, uh, basically. And I feel like you are coming out on the other end of this. You know, I feel like someone here has been, you know, very, uh, you know, very conscious and very aware that they don't want to repeat um, the behaviors of uh, your parents or something like that. Uh, Nine of Cups. The King of Pentacles. Okay, so we have a masculine and a feminine here. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups. You know, I feel like you have a lot on your plate. I feel like you have a lot of things in life. I feel like you earned a lot of things in life. I feel like you worked really hard. I do feel like maybe some of you guys are paired up with somebody. Doesn't have to be. But it all it also could be a situation where you are balancing out your uh, masculine and your femininity too. Three of Wands. You know, I feel like you have big plans for the future here for yourself because I, I just feel like you're just, just in such a great place right now, Leo. You have the Five of Wands here. Be careful of jealous individuals that are trying to uh, stop you in your progress too. You know, some people are, you know, especially in your um, um, a circle of people, there are some people that are not okay with you, you know, uh, making these big changes, you evolving and growing. Um, this is a sign that this individual is not your friend. Um, this person does not want you to succeed. So I feel like you need to watch out for those people, um, Leo. And the Five of Swords, there are people around you that are trying to stop you in your tracks, perhaps jealous yeah, jealous of your growth, jealous of your success, jealous of your abundance, okay? So be careful of these people. Be careful of these people. I, I do feel like you're um, perhaps becoming more assertive here and really standing up for yourself, uh, which I'm feeling, um, you know, it's pretty typical, Leo, but sometimes when we go through traumas in life, you know, we're less assertive because we want to, you know, try and please people. We don't want to create drama. So, and I do feel like that's changing. So Leo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.